there's been a trend of more and more technology aimed toward older people. You know, um, America's aging rapidly, we're, the boomers are aging, and so these are issues that we're going to have to deal with. This gadget, at least in, in its inflated version, it looks a little silly, but falls really are a huge issue. But when it's not inflated, it's essentially a belt that goes around your waist, and there are motion sensors in there. The idea is that if you're a senior, recovering from surgery, or you're just, you know, not so steady on your feet, you're walking around, it senses that you're moving, and then once you fall, it inflates immediately into these airbags that you see here. Jesus. <laughs> Where did Angela go? What am I about to do? Uh, I'm about to fall and hopefully not kill myself. I should probably take things out of my pocket, huh? How does it actually work though? Like, how does it, what, what activates it? We have a, a, a sensor inside that's right. following your movement. So as soon as you are falling down, we know it. Huh. Because we are measuring the acceleration, we are measuring your angular position. Okay. As soon as we know that the position is not good, right. we decide to inflate the airbag. The electronic, and at the back, you just have a bucket. Confirm my hip is not broken. And you see? Punch me, man. A couple years ago, the CDC said that falls were one of the, the biggest causes of death for people who are old, and that's a problem that's been solved. So if you're walking around and you fall, immediately the sides the airbags inflate and absorbs the impact and it'll spare your body some of the trauma that will happen when you fall and you're older and you have more brittle bones. Hip protectors already exist. It might not be as high tech, but you know, there are you know, types of underwear and belts you can wear that essentially do the same thing. They work, but people don't really want to wear them. A lot of people may be in denial that they need them. A lot of people might find them embarrassing or uncomfortable. And no matter how good the technological gadget is, if people don't want to wear it, that, that's a huge obstacle. The second obstacle is just cost. Right now, this is going to be available for pre-order in France in about three months. It's about $800, though, and they're not working with insurance yet. And with the price tag, there's going to be some questions about how accessible and how practical a solution this really is. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to The Verge on YouTube. Do this. Uh, I have to adjust it. I'm okay, sorry. wow. Okay, <laughs> okay man. I'm sorry.